So welcome, my name is Bert Ahrens and I'm with Zacharias Ganey Health Institute. I'm ZG Chef, I'm a recipe writer, I'm working on a cookbook and I do once a month live cooking demonstrations. Hopefully by the end of this you might have an interest in attending more uh, cooking demonstrations and if you do, please email us. Um, we have some email addresses on the recipe cards and uh, if you have an interest, please let us know. Zacharias Ganey is a company that promotes health and wellness. We do that through education in the form of lectures, exercise, and nutrition counseling. Um, many of us struggle with our weight and our culture is awesome. We are a community of walks of all lives and we really find our community to be very nurturing and caring and you know if you or someone you know is looking to get healthy please come see us. Um, we are here for you. So for today um, we have three things on the menu. We have cucumber cups, zucchini bites, and sweet potato hummus. We encourage protein and fiber in every meal and uh, four to six meals a day depending on who you are as an individual and most of us think of three meals a day breakfast lunch and dinner we we like to think of meals as fuel and those two meals in between meals are the ones people tend to struggle with because they're not necessarily hungry but if you skip them and you get to the next one then you're really hungry and then at that point you are potentially grabbing for something that might not be a healthy choice so today's menu is to give you some ideas on some healthy choices for let's call it mid to late morning and mid to late afternoon there are also great recipes to bring to a party um, a picnic, a tailgate, and if you have an opportunity to bring your own dish, we encourage you to do that so that you have a healthy choice. So we'll start with the uh, zucchini bites. You take your zucchini and wash it and then cut off both ends and then you'll cut it into call it 3 8 inch segments. They could be a little thinner, they could be a little thicker, it's whatever your preference. and then you'll lay them out in a pan. These are really easy, it's very few ingredients and I like to call it pizza without the bread. So you lay the slices out in a pan and then the next thing you do is take your little tomatoes and slice those. Again to your preference stick them on top of the zucchini rounds and we have one more to go and from there uh, we like to encourage cuisine. Do you like Italian food, Mexican, Indian, Thai? Spice up your food that way. And if you like it, make it again, and if you don't, try something else. Um, Penzi Spices in Carytown really has a nice variety to choose from. I'm going to use Italian herb to put over top of, of the tomato, along with a little bit of garlic powder. Garlic's good in everything. It's also good for you. And then we'll drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. And you just want to drizzle a little bit. Um, you don't want to drench it. Olive oil has good fats. It's also a way to get in calories if you're not hungry. And then we take our low fat mozzarella sticks and cut little cubes. and stick that right on top of the tomato and then we bake them in the oven and they're good to go. So I have some in the oven for you to taste after uh, the demo today and that is the first recipe. Moving on to cucumber bites. Whether you have a regular cucumber or an English cucumber, um, English is going to have less seeds it might be a little bit longer so you might be able to make a little bit more. 
for purposes of today, we're just going to stripe it with our peeler. And I have washed the cucumber first. And a way to um, have a cucumber last longer, if you wash it and then put it in saran wrap and into your refrigerator, it will remain firmer longer. So the English cucumbers already come wrapped, but your regular ones typically don't. So if you get them, take them home and wash them and put them in some saran wrap, they'll last longer. So now we're, one cucumber makes about 10 slices. So from there, you take your melon baller and just ball out the center of it, and you end up with a little cup. I've made two dips to go in the center of these. One is a sweet potato hummus. So thinking about the protein and fiber, going back to those zucchini bites, your cheese is actually your protein source. Your fiber is that zucchini and tomato. In this case, we have the cucumber being the fiber, and we have a yogurt ranch dip. Greek yogurt is really your best choice. Plain is even better, non-fat. It has twice the amount of protein as regular yogurt. And the plain you can always add different food items to. So some people might buy the chobani with the fruit in the bottom. Try buying fresh strawberries or blueberries and adding that into the plain. It actually tastes better and it is a healthier choice. For a dip, I've added in some Hidden Valley Ranch. And for those that really know me well, know I love this dressing. It's Bolt House dressing. They make yogurt and vinaigrettes. I put a little bit of that into here as well with some dill. And over here on this table is just the hummus and the yogurt dip in little cups right here out front. And then down below are these two uh, dips, if you will, inside the cucumber cup. So at that point, you just fill the cup. And then to make it look pretty, put a little bit of red pepper on top <laughs> and maybe some scallions. It makes for a nice presentation. And that would be what your cucumber cup looks like. With the sweet potato hummus, um, you could put um, you know, a pecan or a walnut half in the top along with some red pepper. And again, that makes a nice presentation. So having the two together on a platter really looks nice. So try that out. And you could also stuff these with chicken salad, tuna salad, egg salad, um, salmon and cream cheese. You know, be creative with it. There's no right or wrong in cooking. Um, I just say, if you like it, keep making it. And if you don't like it, just don't make it again. And then the last thing on the menu is sweet potato hummus. Now I have the zucchini bites in here for you to try. And I can show you what those look like. Here's what they look like out of the, the oven. You could sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese on top there as well. Here you go. And sweet potato hummus. I had never really thought about hummus outside of chickpeas and someone said, hey, have you ever tried sweet potatoes? So I did and it actually came out really great. You can leave those. Essentially, everything in this recipe is roasted. A sweet potato, the chickpeas, red pepper, some white onion, and some fresh garlic. And all of that is cut up into the pan, drizzled with olive oil and some sea salt, some pepper. If you like a little zing, add some cayenne pepper or even red pepper flakes. And then you roast it in the oven for about a half hour on 400. You pull it out and then you remove the skin from the potato. Allow everything to cool. And from there, you put it all in your food processor. This food processor comes from Target, it's Hamilton Beach, it's about $55. It has a puree blade, it also has a blade that will shred and slice all in one. 
So be careful, the blades are sharp. But once I purchased one of these, I was like, where have you been my whole life? It really makes your life easy, especially when you're advanced meal planning, which is something we really encourage our members to do. If you are planning your meals in advance, it provides you a grocery list for the store. And beyond that, when it's time to eat, you know exactly what you're going to grab out of that refrigerator. It will cause you to make a healthy choice on a daily basis if you plan in advance. So it's, it's pretty much a proven fact. Those that journal and plan are going to be more successful at maintaining a healthy lifestyle than those that don't. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is its not a diet, it's something that we learn how to do on a regular basis and we do it for the rest of our lives. That's really key. How many people took gym every day and in grade school? It's why we're meant to move, we're meant to exercise. The more you move, the more you can eat. The less you move, the less you need to eat. So we encourage 10,000 steps a day along with a proper diet and um, my motto is eat right and love it. You can really eat good food and feel like you're being bad but you're not and then when you're bad you really pay for it and it reminds you of why you went on this life journey to begin with. So getting back to the sweet potato hummus I've put all the ingredients in here except for two the remaining ingredients are tahini Tahini is sesame paste. It can be found in a regular grocery store, typically in um, the international section. This recipe calls for two and a half uh, tablespoons. This is a half a tablespoon serving I have, so I'm going to put probably four to six in here. Um, this is an ingredient you can put in or not put in or use as little or as much as you like. So we'll leave it at that. And then fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then we puree it and it's done. Putting it in the refrigerator overnight the next day it will have more flavor to it. Um, the, the serving in front of you today, um, it has sat overnight, so the flavors have melded together, and I hope you like it. So now we just puree. We'll give it a stir and then we'll puree one more time and then our recipe will be complete. One more round. And we're good to go. So to recap, my name is Bert Ahrens. I work for Zachary Scaney Health Institute. We promote wellness. If you would like to come in for a free tour and assessment, you can call us at 358-1000. We would love to see you and work with you and help promote a healthy lifestyle. Um, I do once a month live cooking demonstrations. If you would like to come, just email us and we'll give you some more information. I teach people how to eat vegetables primarily, how to steam, blanch, roast, grill, pan saute, and use a food processor. Um, knife techniques and I meet with people one-on-one. -on -one. We have an awesome nutrition team who really um, enjoys helping our members learn how to put all of this together for it to make sense. So I thank you for being here today. Have a great day and enjoy the show. Thank you, Bert. Thank you. Thank you.